we'll take a simple example we have two trains train A and train B right they are moving in the same direction and uh, A is 200 meters of length B is 100 meters of length A's speed is 20 meters per second B's speed is 10 meter per second right and you have to find out in what time A will cross B right just I just want to explain you with a simple example I'll we have two trains this is A this is B if they have to cross each other right they are moving in opposite direction we need not to take the distance between them no never we have to just check which train is crossing what thing right if it is crossing this train C they will be crossing from the same point and when they cross each other they will be crossing the each other's length first train second train so maybe uh, if it is a platform it is not moving but distance covered will be trains length and platforms length if a train is crossing a man that is negligible length then train will be crossing its itself length I'll give you seven to eight questions of trains and I'm sure the question will be out of those seven eight questions only in your exam first question says we have a train and uh, let's take a very simple example this is a train B it is moving in north direction again different train A it is also going in the same direction that is north now if it is 200 meters and if it is 100 meters dear students the speed of this 100 meter train is a 10 meter per second and it is 20 meters per second now you have to check that the speed of the uh, train which is coming from behind that should be greater than a speed it means a should be greater than b to cross it c a is 20 and b is 10 then obviously uh, my condition satisfies now see when both this train crosses they'll be crossing from the same point right and when they are crossing each other the distance covered by them is a plus b a is 200 meters of length dear students and b is 100 meters of length and they will be crossing each other with the relative speed that is a minus b you know because they are moving in the same direction this is 20 minus 10 300 divided by 10 and my answer would be 30 seconds so train A will cross train B in 30 seconds right this is a basic type of uh, trains you can write it down I'll uh, tell you about uh, the basic types of uh, trains first then we'll be going to the difficult questions also my second question says Dear students, if both these trains are moving in opposite direction, if they move in opposite direction, now you have to see, like this they will be moving. This is A and this is B. This is just 200 meters and this is 100 meters. The speed is 10 meter per second and speed is 20 meter per second. I have told you, when they will be moving then they will be crossing each other in any of the direction they will be covering each other's length so distance covered would be 200 plus 100 and 20 minus uh, plus 10 right 20 plus 10 let's solve it why we are adding the speed because they are moving in opposite direction this is 300 this is 30 so if they are moving in opposite direction they will be taking 10 seconds to cross each other if they are moving in same direction train a that is the faster train will be crossing the slower train in 
I told you that is 30 seconds. This is the second basic type of our trains.